Hi guys, as we all know, the preparations for racing can be extremely confusing and not just getting a car ready, but also what you need to wear as your personal protective gear. So I'm teaming up with DM and Tweaks to see what you need to get you ready for that racetrack. One is understanding the regulations. There are little stickers on all of your equipment telling you whether it's in date and when it expires. At every race meet, your car and personal protective equipment will go through scrutineering to check whether your equipment is in date. These can be confusing as they always change each year, but either Google the specification on your gear or just ask. They are regularly updated by the FIA to keep you safe. So please note they aren't always necessary for track days, but always advised to ensure that you are safe. To know whether something's in date, we can start looking for the equipment. Job number one is always your helmet. Make sure it is in date and FIA approved. I am proud to be part of Team Zamp, where I chose their RZ44CE carbon helmet. With a carbon fibre shell, it's super light with max ventilation and earmuffs to help with the noise. Having a comfortable helmet is vital, as well as ensuring it fits correctly. For competing, you'll need hands posts which are available from Zamp also. At race weekends, these will be checked to ensure they are in date and have no damages. However, track days are not always as strict, but it is advised to have the best protection. As well as the helmet, it is well advised to get a balacarba. These are going to be fireproof as well as your underwear, so a top and bottoms, to make sure it is flame resistant. Your balaclava and fireproof underwear, not literally underwear, will help give you an extra layer of protection. We have a sparker balaclava and socks, as well as a P1 top and leggings. Ensure they are well fitted and comfortable. Next is your hands device, and if your helmet is FI approved for this year, it will have your hands posed. So this just goes over your shoulders and clips in and under your harnesses to stop your head having loads of movement and to protect your neck. Hands stands for head and neck support, fun fact there. It connects you to your helmet securely to the harness in your car. Your harness goes over the hands bars to reduce the movement of your head and neck in relation to your body. It may feel strange to wear it first. Then we have, of course, your race suit. Again, it is all flame resistant to make sure you are protected in the case of an accident. Yes, they may get a little bit warm when you are driving, but it will be worth it if the worst case was to happen. Your suit is the biggest barrier for you in the case of an accident, giving you time to escape from an incident with minimal injury. Ensure this fits well and is comfortable, and don't forget the underwear too. Next is gloves. Of course, again, they're gonna be flame resistant, and the same with your boots as well. You'll also find racing boots actually much nicer to drive with because you have a thinner sole so you can feel everything through the pedals. The last bit of skin to protect is your hands and feet. These gloves and boots are made out of flame resistant material. The boots also provide a much nicer driving feel than trainers, helping with the pedal feel. Again, these aren't compulsory on a track day but still advised to give you the best protection. So there we have it, that's all the equipment you guys need. And if you get stuck with anything, make sure you check out Zamp Helmets with the code BECCA10 for 10% off. And also give the guys at Demon Tweaks a call because they'll be more than happy to help to make sure everything's in date and ready to go racing because the main thing is keeping yourself safe as well as having fun. So there we have it, you guys know the drill. To make my journey your journey, like, follow, subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye. <laughs>